Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's Marla. I'm filming first thing in the morning and that is kind of always the hardest time for me to film because I really don't have a ton of direct sunlight coming in. So it makes it really hard with all my lamps in here to kind of show you everything I want to show you, but that's kind of why my lighting is a little off today. But this is sort of going to be something slightly different. I am going to do um, either a four or maybe five part series on some amazing products that I've been using right now to kind of achieve a very super, super natural looking no makeup look that makes my skin look unbelievably healthy, radiant, more supple. I have gotten, I'm 53 now. I started wearing makeup probably when I was around like 14 or 15, so what is that? Around 35 years. I have been wearing makeup for 35 years and I've gotten more compliments on my skin the past couple weeks than I have in my entire life. It's a little depressing. It's just kind of a combination of products I'm using. The first product today is, these are all gonna be reviews uh, on the series. The first product today is gonna be kind of my perception of a great HD finishing powder that I've been using that adds to this look. Next, because it's so hard for me to kind of film right now and edit and do all that stuff, I think I'm gonna do this every Friday for the next couple weeks, upload a new video. So today's gonna to be the HD powder I've been using to kind of achieve this flawless kind of blurred soft focus look. And then next Friday, I'm going to be showing you the foundation stick that I am so in love with. Unfortunately, it only comes in like two shades. So it is only gonna work for certain people. However, if you find that you can find a very hydrating either foundation or BB cream, I think it will kind of work for this no makeup look. So that'll be uploaded the following Friday. And then the Friday after that, I'm gonna show you this wonderful gloss I'm wearing that kind of makes my lips look juicier, younger, softer, more supple. And that kind of adds all to this kind of more youthful, look and no makeup look that I'm wearing. And then finally, the last upload of videos will be the magic secret powder that I have been using. At least I, for me, it's been the magic secret powder. I really think it's kind of the powder that I've been using on my face that gives my face really the super glow, fabulous, no makeup look. Um, that I've kind of been getting compliments on the past couple of weeks. I really think that is kind of the secret ingredient. And then kind of as a spoof, the week after that, I'm gonna upload a video on some tips to make yourself look or appear to look a little bit younger. It does not involve dyeing your gray hair, cutting your hair, anything like that. These are just common sense tips that I think most women should know, but some women still do not do these tips and I really think just a couple few, a few easy things can really make a huge difference in how you appear to other people and you know, your persona, how, if you, you know, what age you are projecting to other people. So first, the first in this series is going to be the HD powder that I have been using probably for months now. I really, really love, I really think it's a fabulous product powder and this is going to be my perceptions video. I always like to preface that. It's kind of I'm going to give you a description of the powder, tell you all about it and then give you kind of my opinion of the powder and uh, hopefully it's helpful for anyone who's never tried this before. So part one, HD powder. My favorite HD definition powder right now is by e.l.f. and it is the high definition powder. I don't know if you can see that maybe right there. This powder is just the best. It only has one con, in my opinion, and that is the dispenser. It is super, super messy. The consistency of this e.l.f. powder is, I would think, very close to what baby powder is. So, you know when you have kind of a baby powder container and then you open it up and kind of all this baby powder starts poofing up through the little holes and kind of flies all through the air. It's, that's kind of what the consistency of this is. So that's really the con that I see to this powder. It looks, the one I have is the translucent powder. I believe it comes in two other shades. I think there's one that's yellow, uh, uh, has a yellow shade to it, which is a corrective yellow powder. I have not tried that yet. And then there's one that's a shimmer and I, probably will not be trying that one at all because I have enough stuff that puts shimmer on my face that I like. 
I really just wanted this as a translucent powder. And this is when you open the lid, you can see there's a sifter there. And that is the consistency of the powder. It looks a lot like the Makeup Forever HD powder. And again, like I said, the only con is the dispenser. I cannot travel with this. This is a mess to travel with. The only way I could really even consider traveling with this is if I put this in a Ziploc baggie and put it in my suitcase that way. Other than that, it is really a total mess. So when I do travel, I normally take my Urban Decay mattifying powder because it's in a compact. It has parabens in it, but it's just so easy to take that instead of this. I am pretty sure this e.l.f. powder does not contain parabens, and that's why I got it. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me and leave me a comment. But I am pretty sure this is paraben-free. That was another reason why I really wanted to try this out. Now for the pros. Have you ever watched TV and you'll see some older actress like Meryl Streep or I think Lindsay Wagner, she used to be the bionic woman for those of you that are old enough to remember watching The Bionic Man and The Bionic Woman. I'm pretty sure her name was Lindsay Wagner. They sometimes come on TV and you're watching your nice screen and everything looks beautiful in HD and then all of a sudden this old actress will come on to advertise a product and your picture just all of a sudden just goes blurred and you're wondering, why can't I see you? For example, Meryl Streep does some type of commercial or ad, and when I look at her, I'm trying to see her on the screen, but I can't find Meryl, because it's as if they put this giant cheesecloth over the lens to kind of blur out all her wrinkles. Well, that's sort of what this e.l.f. HD powder does to my pores and even kind of my wrinkles, my fine lines. It is great and giving you a really kind of flawless, radiant look, a super, super soft focus look. It's not irritating, at least for me. It, some powders make my face itch, this does not, but this really blurs my pores and just kind of makes everything look like it is a flawless canvas. It comes with this super kind of poofy, cheap, powdery puff looking applicator, and as soon as I got that, that went immediately into the trash. Uh, I, don't, I don't use that at all to apply it. I have found the best way that it works for me is I open this up, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but some of the powder is poofing out of there right now. Con. But um, I open this up, and I tap some of it into the lid, and then I get my moist beauty blender, and I just dab, dab, dab into that, and then I just dab, dab, dab on my face, especially in the area like around my nose. And any area I'm trying to more look more mattified and not shiny. And it just gives me a beautiful kind of a blurred look. I'm going to see if I can show you two pictures, one without the powder on, on a naked face with no makeup, and then with me dabbing the powder on my face. So if I'm able to do that, again, powder poofing everywhere, I'll do that right now. I'm not a professional photographer, so hopefully you can see the difference in these pictures. On the left is where I've applied the HD powder to my naked face. On the right is my totally naked face. And hopefully you can see a little bit of a blurring uh, around my nose with pores and redness. And just kind of a general all kind of soft focus look by using this HD e.l.f. powder. So I don't know if you were able to see kind of the difference between the two, but in person it really does a really nice job of kind of blurring my pores and blurring my lines if applied with the Beauty Blender. The cons of the mess of this really are outweighed by the price of $6. This is so cheap and the way it looks on my face, I am willing to sacrifice a little bit of mess at home for a great look on my face. That was my perceptions of the e.l.f. high definition powder. This is one of the products I use to kind of get this no makeup look and if you keep, there we go, if you keep following along with this little mini series I'm doing, I'm going to show you next week the foundation stick that I use that I really love. Then after that will be the gloss and then finally the amazing powder that kind of brings this all together to give you sort of a look of a super healthy look for a 53 year old face and uh, and then the final week will be things I do just tips I do to make myself appear a little bit younger than my 53 years on this planet and I just wanted to mention that when I do that kind of final 
series video with my little secret powder. I'm actually going to do a little kind of mini demonstration at the end of that video and I will show you my totally naked face and how I use all the combination of these products that I am showing right now to put them all together to get and achieve sort of a very natural looking, radiant, healthy, no makeup look. So that would be kind of a little demo that I do at the end of that. I'll put no makeup on and I will show you how I apply all these products to get this look if you are interested. If you're not interested, then you will not be following this mini series. I am so glad that some of you have tuned in to watch my videos. Again, my videos are kind of for everyone, but I specifically try to gear a lot of the products to women who are more mature, mature like myself. Um, we have a lot of different issues that we're dealing with when it comes to makeup and imperfections in our face that we just kind of have to work with and learn to accept and appreciate, I guess. Take care, guys. Hope you are staying cool this summer. I will see you soon. See you next Friday. Bye-bye from Marla.